Hello and welcome back. My name is Andrew and in this quick CSS tutorial, we're going to be looking at a brand new CSS unit that just dropped in browsers called the Dynamic Viewport Hype. Follow along. All right, now this new CSS unit solves a problem and I'm gonna illustrate the problem here. So you can see I've got a simple CSS page here set up and there's not a whole lot in the CSS page. It's basically, basically just turning this thing bright. In my index, you'll see I have two divs. I have a single div right here and then I have a single div below it. The div right below it just has a bunch of paragraphs. Now, most of you are probably familiar with the viewport height CSS unit, the VH, the viewport height, and the viewport width, the VW CSS units. But there's a new CSS unit that specifically solves a problem that comes up on mobile. And I'm gonna show you that one right now first little div here is set to the 100 viewport height. You can see I've got height set to 100 VH, which means that this div is automatically going to stretch to fill the entire viewport height, whatever that viewport height may be. So if I were to resize my browser here, you can see that that border, that blue border on the bottom is staying 100 height. Now the problem comes if we're on mobile and you can see the problem, right? Notice how the page loads, but this little uh, UI element, this user agent interface element is overlapping on top of my viewport. So although I have 100 VH, the top of the viewport is really kind of covered by this thing, right? So it's actually underneath this guy and I have to scroll this thing down in order to see the bottom of my 100 VH. So to solve this, there's a new unit and that unit is called 100 and it's called DVH which stands for dynamic viewport height. So I'm gonna add that one in here. I'm gonna save on this first div. And then now notice immediately what happened to my preview. Now the viewport is taking into consideration any user interface elements that may be onloaded on top of that. So now they're, they're essentially behaving the same, right? This is behaving the same as the mobile view. And then when I scroll the mobile view, I can scroll down to that extra bit of content. And when I scroll the uh, desktop view, I can get down to that extra bit of content too. That is the new magic property. It's called DVH, which stands for Dynamic Viewport Height. There's actually three, four new uh, properties that belong to this. So the other units are the small. So this is the small viewport unit. You can kind of see right there. VH, SVW, and then the large LVH and LVW, or large. And then the dynamic one is the one I illustrated in my little example, the dynamic one, where it automatically conforms. So if the, if the toolbar exists, it will be the viewport will be the height minus the toolbar. If the toolbar doesn't exist, the viewport height will be the height like you would expect a typical one. So I kind of like the dynamic one because it automatically would adjust according to whether there's UI elements overlaid or not. One important thing to note with this new CSS unit is that it does take into account overlays and toolbars and things like that, but it does not take into account the virtual keyboards. So even though the virtual keyboard overlays on top of mobile, it's not part of the calculated viewport as in these new CSS units. Supported in Chrome, um, Vert, Chrome, Safari, and Firefox, it's supported in. It's supported in mobile uh, Safari, but however, it's not supported in Internet Explorer, of course. However, it's not supported in Edge either. Hope you learned a tip in this video. Click the button like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.